A crashing conclusion to a chase on the causeway. Troopers pulling a pit maneuver to stop a driver. They were tailing on Miami Beach, and that raises questions about what might have happened next. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live with more of that wild video. Glenna. Louis, this was last month, so spring break weekend. So there was cars on this causeway all night, even at 3 a.m. That's when this happened. A trooper was patrolling thought what he was doing was getting a dangerous driver off the road, but now we have this dash cam video. We see how he did that, and we also see some unintended consequence. Eastbound on the MacArthur toward the beach, the trooper notices what appears to be impaired driving. That driver does not pull over as ordered. Emergency equipment. Stand by. I'm going to Listen to the trooper and watch as he pulls that pit maneuver. The maneuver does stop the driver. The troopers deemed a danger to the roads, but not until that car hit the guardrail, went airborne, which the dash cam does not capture, through the median and into oncoming traffic, stopping against the westbound barrier wall. Hey, stop. Put the car in park. A passenger emerges, her leg hurt, and the 34-year-old driver... We're going to maintain that position until I tell you to begin, okay? They say he failed a field sobriety test. Empty bottles in the car, according to the report. Troopers say the car comes back stolen. They charged Kevin Palma Molina with fleeing, grand theft, DUI, no driver's license. A man deemed a danger to the roads, whose vehicle became more dangerous as a potential head-on projectile in the oncoming lanes. And there was, you could see in that dash cam, definitely traffic going in the other direction as well. No one else hit or hurt. And we did ask the spokesperson for Florida Highway Patrol about what happened. And he responded, definitely an unintended consequence. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami Beach today, Local 10 News. Incredible.